All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Ruby Reaction. Man, we're here with Volume 5, Chapter 8, Alone Together, passing the halfway point of Volume 5 as we continue this binge onto Volume 6. And last episode, we had a cool little moment between Team Rube E, Ru E, um, and Team Juniper, the remaining members of Team Juniper. And, um, you know, just a cool conversation between them, all telling the stories of what they've been through right now. Um, cool little interactions. Um, a little arm wrestling, freaking cool, and I mean, Ospin revealing that he is the wizard. He's the wizard of the story that they told Pira, and you know he still has some magic in him, but it's not—it's finite, it's not infinite. Um, and now we have Mercury, Emerald, Cinder, and Watts arriving at the tribe of bandits with Raven Bronwyn which they're going to have a conversation about the Spring Maiden and try to find out where she is if Raven indeed does have her or not because Salem needs her and yeah we just move on man let's go volume 5 chapter 8 alone together all new ruby merch at the Rooster Teeth official store Back to the where to go. Oh damn, yeah, we still have that hit on the Belladonna's. Damn, man, I don't know what's gonna happen. Like, so far, Volume 5 has gone pretty good for our team. But I feel like something bad's gonna happen, bro. Like, there's no way this Volume... Volume 4 was pretty much positive the whole way through. But there's no way it's gonna continue. Something has to give. Oh, we're just gonna have one-on-one -on -one moments, huh? You're up early. Hey, sis. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing up? Can't fall back asleep. Uh, me neither. Well, fortunately... That makes three of us. Hey, coffee runs again. No, please. Don't worry, I put in blasphemous amounts of cream and sugar just for you. Oh, yeah, nice white strikes again. I will pour this on you and it will burn. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yo, how long I've been waiting for this, bro? That's what you can't believe? Well, yeah. And all the other magic and stuff. But, okay, you know what I mean. I honestly wasn't sure if I'd ever see you two again. Well, here's to defying expectations. Yeah, Ruby just chugged that thing down hot. I just wish Blake could be here with us. Yeah, well, she made her choice. What's that supposed to mean? I mean, she could have been here if she just stuck around. It's no big deal, though. We'll be fine. Don't you want her here? God damn, heart of ice. Are you still mad at her for leaving? Oh, whatever gave you that idea, Ruby. No, I'm totally fine. I'm great. Okay, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Hey, Super Saiyan, calm down. Oh, dang. Whatever. Yeah, 
And there she is thinking about. Hey, Blake! You ready to go? Be right there. She left a note for somebody or somebody left her a note? Ilya? Things going too far, not sure. God. We going recruiting or what? We've got the entire nocturnal section to hit up. You okay? Yeah, I'll meet you there. I need to take care of something first. Yep, it was Elia. Yeah. Look, Ruby, I really don't want to talk about it, okay? Can you just leave me alone for a bit? It's wise. Oh. Hey, Weiss, did you need something? <sighs> I know she's our teammate, but I'm not just going to change my mind. I'm sorry, I just, I don't think you know what it's like to be left. You have a giant family, recitals to perform at, Dinner's to its end. I didn't have any of that. My mom left me. Ruby's mom left too. Ty was always busy with school and Ruby couldn't even talk yet. I had to pick up the pieces. I had to keep things together. Alone. Weiss, if you have something to say, then say it. When I was 10, my dad finally admitted to my mom that the only reason he married me was for the family name. It was actually on my birthday. He missed the big dinner. She got mad. Damn. He finally snapped. I think she already knew. Looking back, I think I knew too. But hearing him say it finally pushed her over the edge. First, it was separate lunches and dinners. Opposite balconies at my recitals. A glass of wine here, a glass of wine there. Then, it was no dinners, no recitals. A bottle of wine here, and, and well, you get the idea. I'm really sorry. I shouldn't Oh, this is the music from the wise character right, short. Though. I don't know loneliness like you do. I have my own version. And I'll bet Blake has her own version too. She doesn't have to be alone though. I was here for her. We all were. She chose to leave us. Why do you think she did that? Hmm? The entire time Blake was at Beacon, she was afraid to open up to people. She tried to keep her past separated from us. She tried to protect us. Eventually those walls she put up came down. And the moment they did, the one thing she was afraid of actually happened. The universe proved her right. No one blamed her for anything. If she had just talked to us, she would have known that. How could I be there for her if she doesn't let me? What if I need now we're starting to get some bumblebee. I know it's not easy. I wish she hadn't left too. The only thing we can do now is be there for her when she's ready. When she comes back. Oh my god, man. I love these girls. If she comes back. She, will. she will come back. Yang, you, Ruby, and even Blake are more like family to me than my brother or even my own father. I would do anything for you three. And I'm willing to bet Blake feels the same way. So, when she's ready, I'll be there for her. 
and I know we're not as close, but I'm here for you too. Is uh, everything okay? Yeah, it is. <laughs> She's gonna meet with Ilya. Ilya? I'm here. Ilya. I know you're scared, but you don't have to be. My family and I, we can keep you safe. I'm sorry. You can make it up to me by helping us stop Corsican Fennec. No. I'm sorry. <gasps> oh my god, really? Oh my god, look at Spider-Man, oh my... And to you, Ilya. Ilya! What are you doing? I tried to warn you, Blake. I'm sorry. Don't tell me you're sorry. But I am. I am sorry it has to be this way, but you and your family are holding the Faunus back. Because we're trying to protect people? In what world do you live in where attacking the innocent is the right thing to do? The same one as you. There's no such thing as innocent. There's no right thing to do. Only what's best for us. There's the humans that still hate the Faunus. And there's the others who stand by and let the hate happen. But you know what snuffs out hate? Fear. I don't like hurting people. But I'll tell you this, it's gotten us results. Yeah, look where it's gotten you. We all have to make sacrifices for the greater good, no matter how much it hurts. And you think killing me is really for the greater good? No, but getting rid of your family is. You wouldn't. You can't. I oh, won't let you. Man. I know. That's why you're being sent to Mistral. To Adam. Ilya, please. You don't have to do this. This isn't you. Yes, it is. She's falling to the dark side, we're man. Too busy falling for Adam to notice. I was always jealous of the way you looked at him. I wanted you to look at me that way. But we can't always get what we want. Yuma, with me. You two, get her to the docks. Let's go, traitor. Now! Huh? <laughs> Watch! Oh my gosh, she had sun with her the whole time. <laughs> Thanks for the backup. Thanks for the invitation. You okay? No. You heard, Ilya. My family's in danger. Call the police and let's go. Oh my god. Right. Come on, Mom. Pick up. Oh shit, I thought they were dead already. I was like, god damn. Get out of my you have to do it, Kali. Shoot that mother. Oh my god, look at Kira. 
You show us what type of fun as you are, Gira. Go find my wife. Oh damn! Right on the spine. I believe it's time our dear chieftain stepped down, brother. Yes, brother. I'm afraid I'm inclined to agree. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, another short episode of a yo, I didn't even write anything I barely wrote anything. Damn it. Ah oh. Yo, volume five is crazy. <laughs> oh my god, it's only chapter eight. Um I right, saw so the beginning we got that little conversation between um Weiss and Yang and you know Yang is obviously heartbroken that Blake would want to leave and leave them behind, especially when they have this relationship between Yang and Blake, which hasn't been confirmed yet. So I don't know. I don't know who to ship. I don't know who to ship. I don't know if I should ship Black Sun or should I ship Bumblebee, like some of you have said. I don't know. I just haven't seen enough of it yet. But obviously, there's feelings there, so it exists. Um, but yeah, then Weiss opened up more to her, and um, you know, because Yang was telling her that she was all alone in her life. She had to step up and pretty much be the matriarch of her family. He went though she was younger than Ty and stuff like that. Um, just to keep the family together. And then Weiss, you know, opened up to her and telling her that, you know, her family's not perfect. You know, and especially with the a-hole of a dad that she has with Jacques. Freaking a-hole. Hate that dude. Um, you know, pretty much he revealed to the mother, Weiss's mother, that he just married her for the family name. And, and he did it on Weiss's 10th birthday. Come on, man. F you, dude. Hopefully that dude dies. I don't give a fuck. Hopefully you die, bro. Um, And then we get this stuff, man. I I honestly thought Ilya would, would side with Blake. But apparently not, man. She, she decides to get revenge on her because Blake was falling for Adam, which we've seen. You know, she definitely had feelings for Adam. Taurus and Ilya wanted that to be reciprocated back to her because she cared about Blake more than Adam. You know, and now this is her revenge. She's able to, well, she thinks, get Blake for Adam. But my boy, son, is right there waiting in the shadows, takes them out. Now they're going to the family home. Um, Kali's over there in a tough situation with the gun. Um, hopefully she doesn't. Hopefully she doesn't get shot and gear right now with these two other guys from the White Fang. Um, you know it looks like they're gonna kill him, but you know he finally showed out his what his lion fondness that he has. Oh, and oh man, I just can't wait. Let's see what's gonna happen, man. Subscribe, like, share, and comment as always, guys. And I'll see you guys for Volume Five, Chapter Nine. We're going on a binge.